I wonder what Mr. Lee might know about this mask. Set her straight. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. I just want to say that I've never seen Manhattan so safe and peaceful. Compare what it was like when Spider Man first showed up to now. Okay, fair enough. I will. Then we had police and firefighters doing a wonderful job. There was crime, sure, but nothing they couldn't handle. Of course, we do have things now we didn't have then maniacs who shoot electricity out of their eyes, walking piles of sand, Nazis made of bees. Didn't Spider-Man put all those guys in jail? You're missing the point! They didn't exist before he came along. At best, he attracts them. But I've often wondered if they're in cahoots. Wow. I've never actually heard anyone say cahoots before. Look, all I'm saying is, I'd hate to imagine what would have happened if all those guys showed up and Spider-Man wasn't here. Another lost cause. Goodbye. Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. Now, where did I put my library card? If I had powers, I wouldn't fight crime, I'll tell you that. I'd be a TV star. Peter! What can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane. She's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports, and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it, and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. We are continuing updates on the story of yesterday's tragic events that took place around town, leading up to the capture.
teacher of New York City crime overlord Wilson Fisk. Police first responded to calls of most Peter, how are you? You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Okay, ma'am? Carmen, and I'm fine. It's my husband, Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find it. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? Bad angle. I need to get it straight off. Over. Give me the plans and it won't. Very nice. Perfect shot. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this, and I leak the photo. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim or an accomplice? I need a photo. No perches with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Keep 
Just what I needed. Gotta catch my train. Don't wanna keep the boss waiting. Tonight's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've gotta follow him. <laughs> no, he'll spot me. Need to track him from above ground. Where's he getting off? Uh, tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. Into the line. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building. Trust. Anyway, it's done. It's already picking up our sick. All right. Roman's ready and we are running late. Let's roll. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car.
love it when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just... Uh, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker. You're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? Oh, it's just a story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. How does it work? Just like a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But... but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. In a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. 
You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. Easy, easy, easy. They, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter, there's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. Maybe call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. There must be some way to help Doc. I'll think of something. message about these before he left for you. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. As long as they're here, it's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... It sounds like it means a lot to him. I'll do what I can to help. I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might show they're polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots. Like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! I'm getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. Got it. people out. Now what else is new? Huh. The toxins coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos. Huh? 
Best smokestack picture I ever took. Great light on that one. Perfect. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone. What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn. Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. vacuum I created by putting Fisk away. Jameson was right. The demons are my fault. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. I think I might have just lost my job. The city, Norman, actually, pulled our funding. Oh, Pete. I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Thanks, MJ. Talk to you soon. monitors the health of marine life and we've got a bunch of medicine on site if you need it but the effects these diseases have they're just they are not something any living creature should go through looks like there's a bacterial infection in the fish I better take care of it before the food supply is contaminated found an antibacterial spray in the lab that should heal the fish I just need to spray it over the water and fast before people start getting sick First step, get to the bed whatever's in those barrels caused the problem. Gotta get him out of the water. Ah, just call me your friendly neighborhood garbage man. Barrels are smarter than some of the guys I usually fight. Thank you. 
Now that it's clear, this is a perfect spot to spray. If I spread it evenly, the water currents will take it far and wide. Over a wide area. Fish will spread it to other fish, which is good because there's not much for me to swing from further out. Based on the water currents, there's another area I need to hit. More barrels. Definitely the source of the bacteria. I'll get rid of him. Great thing about barrels, they don't shoot at me. The side is, I don't think these barrels appreciate my quips. Clear to spray. Come on, fishy fishies. This is good for you. This is why I never had an aquarium. I bet someone calls this into Jameson as Spider Man. Water polluter. Okay, time to find a spot to scan my finny friends and make sure they're cured. Clean. Well, by the standards of the docks. We stopped an outbreak before it started. It'll be tough for Oscorp to argue this station isn't pulling its weight.
heard about the robbery at Roseman's auction house. What you probably didn't hear, but my sources confirm, is that the perpetrators were wearing masks. Horrible, demonic faces. Yet another example of the explosion in mass criminals through. since Spider-Man came on the scene. Let's hear your thoughts. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, I see your point, but Spider-Man stopped those guys today. Saying he's like them because he wears a mask isn't fair. It's like prejudice. Wrong. Here's a little lesson in the English language, my friend. Prejudice means to prejudge someone before you know anything about them. I know all I need to about Spider-Man. He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask so he doesn't have to answer for his shenanigans, and a flashy costume so he gets attention to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. Now, if I'm a mentally unstable person, and I see him getting all this coverage, what am I going to do? It's called copycat behavior, people, and it's ruining New York. Hey, Pete. Now, this station tracks GPS chips deployed around the city on birds and other wildlife. It collects data on the environment, which Mom wanted, and helps improve GPS on Oscorp tech, which <laughs> Dad wanted. So, it's actually probably safe. You know what, bud? I should have remembered to tell you not to bother with this one. Hey, the tech here might help me track my missing spider bot. Those things are too expensive to lose. Okay, I boosted the tracking signal on my other spider bot. Now it can track its brother. I lost the other bot's signal in the park. So that's where I'll need to drop this one. Nothing unusual, just taking my spider bot for a walk in the park. You know, like you do. Okay, it's following the pings from the other spider bot. Let's see where it takes us. I wonder if a kid picked it up and took it home. It is way better than any toys on the market. Yeah, I told the AI to test it in narrow areas, so this pipe makes sense. Oh no, I hope it didn't get run over. New York drivers have no respect for the crosswalk. Looks like it made it quite a ways. Proximity alarm? What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! And if I startle the bird, it'll drop the spider bot and break it. This pigeon's strong. Someone didn't skip wing day at the bird gym. Finally, it's nest. Wait, that's the other spider bot! I busted a feathered kleptomaniac. Now that I know where they both are, time to mount a rescue mission. Harry really did me a solid that time. Wish I could thank him. I got some work to do on these spider bots before I can send them back out into the world again. Thank you. 
this is one of my labs that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but there's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Can I get a selfie? Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building. And the tallest one around is Oscorp. I wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time. Jump the gun! I just have to do it again. I am not eager to repeat that, but I have to. Got an itchy web finger. Not low enough. Gotta hurry back to the lake and turn this loose. Hi. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. Won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. Can I get an autograph? You can't really be him.
on that costume is pretty good. The eyes do that blinky thing? I have to once again defend myself against the spurious claims from McDonald's Mac Gargan, a.k.a. The Scorpion. Yes, as I fully disclosed, I bankrolled the experiment that gave him superior strength, speed, and that unsightly cyborg tail. The idea was to create an anti-Spider-Man who is not a threat and stops menaces. I had no idea he was crazy. Do you think his resume said psycho with a poisoning fetish? His lawsuit is a transparent attempt to reduce his sentence at the raft by placing the blame for his deeds on me. And that is one package J. Jonah Jameson refuses. Okay, Pete, this lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration point's in a park. The birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. Spray won't bother people or other animals, but it'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse.
one more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. That did it. No zombie pigeons. Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything. Looking good, Spidey. Excuse me. Be more careful with my adoring public. I've always been about the truth. When I was a reporter and a newspaper publisher, I printed the truth. And now as a broadcaster, I speak it. Sometimes it hurts. But it's my responsibility to bring it to you. And the truth is, the city is not quiet. It is not peaceful. It is a disaster waiting to happen. Threats roiling under the surface like a hungry shark just beneath the water line. Don't let Spider-Man fool you. You are not saved. None of us are. So this station collects overflow data from all the others. Yeah, God forbid we waste Oscorp's server space. Anyway, do me a favor and make sure it's running smoothly, or everything these stations do is for nothing. This isn't nearly enough server space. It's close to overloading. That'll trigger a purge, and everything Harry has will be lost. I can't let that happen. Wait, ESU has a backup server near here they never use. That can handle the excess data. 
but I'll need to realign the transmission dishes to make a link from here to there. Fast. The active receiver's easy to find. Just have to get up there. Okay, now to find another link in the array. Got it. Just have to keep doing that. What's taking up all that space on Harry's servers? Looked like DNA sequencing, but that seems beyond the scope of the research stations. Focus, Pete. It won't matter what's on the server if it all gets erased. Getting close. Should be in view of the ESU server now. Got it. Now I can initiate the data transfer if I hurry. Looks good. Hmm. Let's see. Looks good. Let's see. Looks good. This is for all the marbles. It's working! Everything's stored successfully. Should be fine until I have Norman assign Harry some more server space. And he'll be glad to when he sees what the stations have been doing.
this station analyzes hazardous chemicals, and basically trying to figure out how to counteract them if they ever got out into the world, which <coughs> hopefully they never will. Oh no, someone broke in and stole a volatile rocket propellant. They must have cracked the container because it's leaking. From the timestamp on the security cameras, it just happened. I need to get it back. My spider bots are still just prototypes, but this is a good time to test one. Its sensors can follow the chemical trail. Better than me swinging up on the thief. If he freaks out and drops the hydrazine, he'll blow up half a block. Gotta find a quiet place to deploy the spider bot, where I can hang out and guide it. Okay, little guy. Let's find where the chemical dripped and vacuum it up before it makes someone sick. Not only is Minnie me cleaning up the spills, it's leading me right to the thief. The thief's hiding in crowds. I'll disperse him with a subsonic blast. Won't hurt anyone, but it's super annoying. Lucky this stuff's only dangerous over a long exposure. Or if it combusts. Maybe... Maybe not. End of the trail. He's in, he's running. Gotta wrap him up with a web burst. Got it. Now to get the fuel back. Way to go. Got it. Now I just need to return the fuel to the station. This little spider bot's useful. If I can ever find a way to make them cost effective, they'd be a big help. My husband thanks you, my kids thank you. Chemicals back where it belongs. I beefed up the station security and sent Yuri the camera footage to convict the thief. Not a bad day's work. This is one station that was already earning its keep. It should be safe from being shut down, especially now that the chemicals are locked away. This is one of Mom's earliest projects. We were trying to develop a bacteria that would dissolve all the plastic in the oceans. But we, um, well, she ran out of time. Like, if you have any ideas, it would really mean a lot. Hmm. With some genetic tweaking, I might be able to crack it. But I need a better equipped lab. And the bacteria only lives in liquid environments. Wait, my web fluid. I can keep the bacteria alive in my web cartridge. Yes, you should have the chemicals I need to increase its power. Oh man, the bacteria dissolved my web. It's in the cartridge for the webs I swing from. The other kind should be okay. Now I have to get to ESU without swinging from anything. Whew, 
The zipline web seemed fine. Well, I'm getting a heck of a workout. Gotta hustle. I don't know how long this bacteria stays viable. This is good practice for if my web shooters ever malfunction. You think these people never saw a guy jogging on walls? Okay. By law, they have to dispose of their chemicals in these containers. Should be some stuff I can use. All set. Now I have to get to Dr. Octavius' lab to combine everything. I'll just take the subway if the bacteria won't survive that long. Hot stuff coming through! Okay, now I just need to grab the bonding agent. Peter. Oh, Peter. Don't even know why I'm bothering to record this. Norman has neutered us. And soon the lab will be out of funds. We were on the verge of such great things. If we had just a bit more time and money, I know all the ideas in our heads would have come pouring. Wait. Ideas in our heads. My God, Peter, that's it! And now the industrial centrifuge that'll get the bacteria out of my web fluid so I can store it properly. Just need to isolate the bacteria. Beautiful. I think I improved the bacteria. But I can only tell for sure back at Harry's research station.
Should have my web swinging back. Let's see. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, sweet web swinging. I'll never take you for granted again. I hope this works. I remember when Harry's mom started the project. It meant so much to them both. Where there's a web, there's a way. testing receptacle full of plastic let's see what happens it's working not as fast as I'd hoped but better than before probably needs further testing I didn't get all the plastic but it's a big step forward enough for Oscorp to keep working on it they'd win the Nobel Prize and it wouldn't hurt their stock price either People ask me what I think of Mayor Osborne, but what matters is what you think. Let's ask our first caller. You're on with J. Jonah James. Hi, I think Mayor Osborne's doing a terrific job. He's cleaned the city up and expanded the economy. With all due respect to the office of mayor, the police cleaned up the city, and entrepreneurs boosted the economy. I do approve of many of the mayor's initiatives, like cracking down on quality of life crimes and reducing red tape. But I think he takes credit for a lot of things other people do. He's ambitious, which is not a bad thing. But I always say, be careful of people with agendas. We used to have a vigilant press to keep politicians honest. But it's a shadow of its former self. Now all you've really got is me. This station's simple, but really important. It measures toxins in the air, way more sensitive than anything the city has. Bad air hits children and the elderly first. This was a big one for my mom. If his data is accurate, there's way too much sulfur dioxide in the air. I have a spidey hunch this is caused by inefficient engine exhaust. If I get some fresh samples, I can identify the make and model and report them.
one more should do it. <coughs> oh, don't die. Don't die. <coughs> That's it. Phew. <coughs> Okay, looks like we have three guilty parties. I'll need to get pictures of them for proof. One to taking pictures, just like the old Bugle days. Life was so much simpler back then. I got him. That's a keeper. Set. That'll get a recall ordered, courtesy of your Earth-friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So this station monitors water pressure down to the individual building. Structures above four stories use water towers to augment the city system. The idea is to identify problems before they spread. You know? Whoa. The pressure in this building's all over the map. I need to find out why. The water towers connect to the city's system at the four-story mark. I'll scan the pipes, try to see where this starts. Pipes are fine up here. Whatever's causing this, it's lower. Here's the problem. Valve's at the wrong setting. Easy enough to fix. That shouldn't have happened. I better seal these fast before Jameson pins it on me. Better than duct tape. Got it. Just call me the amazing spider plumber. I'll fix.
just in time. Nailed it. Last one, but those won't hold long. The pressure shouldn't be that high, unless the drainage is blocked. I'll check the outlet pipe. The outlet pipe's down by the waterfront. I'll go see if anything's blocking it. Yeah, that'll do it. I better clear it before something bursts. other heroes fight crime and fix your shower. But now Oscorp can't deny Harry's station stopped the public utility meltdown. I have received unsettling reports of Spider-Man in our public parks where children play, apparently, stalking pigeons. Yes, wild pigeons. You may wonder if he's gone insane, a perfectly valid question, but have you heard of the Goliath bird-eating spider? I'll spare you the gory details, but it's a spider big enough to devour birds. Now, Spider-Man sticks to walls like a spider. He jumps like a spider. What else does he do like a spider? This station may be safe, because it's helping test an Oscorp military application, cloaking tech. But I don't love using armed drones to test in. Someone might get hurt. Not if I'm the one who tests it. Let's see if I can integrate the cloaking tech with my suit. Success! 
success. Uh, energy field interferes with my web gadgets. Not exactly a keeper. Uh-oh. Those armed drones are malfunctioning. They're dangerous. And the self-destruct signal's not working from here. But cloaked. I can get close enough to trigger the destruct mechanism. That drone didn't go far. I'll download its data before I wreck it, so they can ID the problem. Okay, I need to get within 10 meters of the drone to stop it. And I'll need to be cloaked. Nailed it! Now I've got to go visible again so I can swing to the others. Drone, but your data lives on. Better you than me. Coming, did you? I'm always breaking stuff. Another one bites the dust. That's one drone. Are these armed drones even legal? Stealth Spidey strikes again. Stealth mode was fun, but it's not worth losing my webs over. Hopefully, Oscorp will figure out armed drones in Manhattan are not a good idea. But I'm not holding my breath. Now they've got the data they need. And the stealth tech is promising, even if it needs work. I think Harry's station is safe. And if they ever work the bugs out, maybe I'll whip myself up a stealth suit.
information spider fanboy tried to troll me, as the young people say, by claiming Spider-Man was providing a public service plugging leaks in water towers. Let me tell you why this itsy bitsy brain spider was climbing this particular water spout, people. Because he tampered with the water pressure system. He was seen earlier messing with a valve that only qualified workers are supposed to use. Wake up, America! Spider-Man creates the problems he then solves, then expects you to reward him with your adoration. The sad thing is, all too many do. Fortunately, you know better, thanks to me. My mom was a big believer in the city steam heating. It's better for the environment than fossil fuels, but high pressure can lead to deadly explosions. This station was designed to monitor the pressure in specific buildings. Help me show Oscorp it's worth the cost. Please. Harry's really invested in preserving his mother's legacy. And who can blame him? There's been a sharp rise in the pressure in some nearby buildings. The problem seems to be caused by faulty regulators. I've got to break them off before the pressure gets too high. And the building explodes. The city will replace the regulators I break. There's no time to do this the polite way. Luckily, the regulators are on the exterior. A well-placed web shot should take them out. I bet Jameson's gonna lead his show tomorrow with a Spider-Man vandalizes building story. Can't leave any of them. Just takes one to cause a blast. Too many people in these buildings. No time to evacuate. It's up to me. Wrecking these won't cause any serious problems. The city can fix them easily.
Okay. Better head to the roof and make sure the pressure's vented properly. Nary a peep from my spider sense. Everyone's safe. I better get out of here before someone asks me to pay for all this. Something wrong? Oh, no, no. I just had to thank you for saving my daughter from those muggers. Uh, when did this happen? Just now. <sighs> Busy guy like you. I guess it all blurs together, huh? Near the theater on 126 and Powell. She just called and told me. Right. Sorry. Uh, happy to help. I'm glad your daughter's safe. Okay, I wasn't anywhere near there. I should swing by and see what's going on. There's the theater, and the crime scene. I better find out what happened. Hey, strike a pose. Sorry I missed the action. Thanks for keeping her safe, Spider-Man. Still alive. So whoever did this isn't a lethal protector. That's promising. You're back already? I thought you were checking out that fire. Right. Uh, on my way now. Which way was it again? Last time you went that way. South. Thanks. I got a little turned around. Someone's impersonating me. It could be the chameleon again. I've got to pick up his trail. Does smell like there was a fire in this direction. There's the fire damage. Looks like it got put out quickly. You came back! I can't thank you enough for saving my friend from the fire. I thought she was dead. My pleasure. Look, I want to make sure everyone's safe, but the smoke kind of got to me. Do you remember where I went next? Sorry, I was helping my friend. I think you went back up there. Thanks. I give your friend my best. Whoever faux Spider-Man is, he used the fire escape. Guess he couldn't copy my web shooters. Goodbye, come on. Sorry, quick thinking with that extinguisher, Spidey. Fire extinguisher, huh? Wonder where he left it. He used a fire extinguisher. What type of suppressant is in this? DP, Pretty standard. And he's got fire suppressant on him. If I key my lenses to track its chemical signature, it should lead me right to Spider-Man 2.0. He's walking normally. No webs, no powers. Which makes what he's doing suicidal. Guy looks like he's been in a fight. Maybe he knows something. Come on, man, lay off! I 
I told you everything. The deal's going down on the roof. No lie. Right. Just... You stay out of trouble. Hope I'm not too late. My doppelganger's got some skills. Where'd you learn to fight like that? I told you, I give up. That's gonna leave a mark. And he left the drugs. Seems like his intentions are good, even if his methods are... The police will handle the cleanup. Counterfeit Spidey must have gone down the other fire escape. That's him. People seem to like him. Yeah, I mean me. I mean, I mean oh, this is weird. My pleasure, citizens. Excuse me. I hear someone in need. Okay, I do not talk like that. Nobody talks like that. Let him go. Yeah, right. We'll get even more from Mr. Fisk when we bring him your head. Whoa, hey guys! I'm not the real Spider-Man! Not anymore, you're not. Time to even the odds a little. I've got this. Go! You get a chance to team up with the real Spider-Man? No way! You know how to fight! I'm a black belt! I'm a car dojo! I just wanted to help spread the legend, you know? Yeah, but when you dress like me, you inherit my enemies. And I've got a lot of enemies. Look out! More of them! I'll take the ones with guns. You get the rest. shelter nearby. And I'm sure folks would appreciate free self-defense classes. Good idea. Gotta admit, I'm starting to see the downside of the suit. intense how do you do it one bruise at a time look your heart's in the right place but if you keep this up you're gonna get killed yeah i see that now don't worry i'm hanging up the suit spider-man no more good call besides you don't need a costume to make a difference hey that's a good line i'll remember that
Has anyone else heard reports of Spider-Man literally seeking out clouds of smog to swing through? Is this the behavior of a sane individual? I'll tell you what I think is going on here. When I was a lad, there was a problem with juvenile delinquents sniffing glue to get high. Knowing Spider-Man's weak moral character and thrill-seeking personality, I'd guess the same principle is at work here. But inhaling toxic substances also damages the brain, which actually explains a lot about Spider-Man. He's swinging through the city, hopped up on smog! <laughs> 